Hi, I'm Luke Nichols from the law firm of Nichols & Green. A lot of people ask me whether or not they should fight their speeding ticket. So here's a few tips that you might want to know when you're making that decision of whether or not to fight a speeding ticket. First, make sure it's just a speeding ticket. In the state of Virginia, you can be charged criminally with reckless driving by speed anytime you go faster than 20 miles over the speed limit or faster than 80 miles per hour, regardless of what the speed limit is. So if you are charged uh, with going faster than 20 over the limit or faster than 80 miles per hour, make sure you're not charged with reckless driving by speed. This is a criminal offense. It comes with uh, a maximum penalty of up to 12 months in jail, six month loss of license and outrageous fines. It stays on your permanent criminal record forever so make sure before you prepay something or before you go to court and plead guilty make sure it's just a speeding ticket and not reckless driving by speed the second thing you want to do is make sure you're not going to get on DMV probation or lose your license for excessive demerit points and Virginia Virginia drivers who get more than 12 points knocked off their record within 12 months or 18 points within 18 months they get on DMV probation people who are on DMV probation and get any moving violation lose their license um, anybody who's on a control period and they get a moving uh, violation they get uh, put on probation so if you're on a control period if you're on probation or if pleading guilty to your ticket will result in you getting 12 points in 12 months or 18 points in 18 months talk to an attorney before you prepay that ticket or go to court and plead guilty uh, to give you some perspective, um, any speeding tickets that's 20 miles or more over the limit is a six point offense. Uh, anything that's less than nine over the speed limit is a three point offense and everything in between is four points. So two six point uh, speeding tickets within 12 months can result in you being put on DMV probation. Another reason and to fight a speeding ticket is if your insurance is gonna go up a lot. If you have um, a premium insurance rate, uh, or if you've gotten a few tickets in the past, or if the speeding ticket you're charged with is at a high speed, it may have a serious effect on your insurance premium. So talk to your insurance provider, find out what effect that ticket will have on your insurance, and that'll help you make a decision of whether or not it's worth your time to hire an attorney to fight the ticket. Another reason you may want to fight a simple speeding ticket is if you drive for a living. If you drive a company vehicle, if you have a commercial driver's license, um, any of those types of things, you probably want to fight that speeding ticket. If you drive a company vehicle for work, uh, your company's insurance policy, their fleet insurance, probably gives your employer rules about who's allowed to drive vehicles and who's not. And those rules usually have to do with what types of tickets you've got on your record. So getting a simple speeding ticket may result and you no longer being allowed uh, to drive a company vehicle. This can cost a lot of people their jobs. So if you drive a company, a, a vehicle for a living, if you drive for your work, if you have a commercial driver's license, anything like that, talk to your employer, talk to your HR rep, make sure that that ticket won't cost you your job. So at any rate, um, hopefully these are some helpful tips about things to look out for before you prepay a ticket and while you're deciding whether or not to fight a ticket. If you have any questions, call us at Nichols and Green. Uh, we're happy to do free consultations and give people advice over the phone. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.